guys it's been one month since i posted any video sorry for the delay this video is about 11 plus experience i've created a powerpoint to share it with you guys and tell you guys so let's get going so we're going to start off by looking at what is 11 plus the 11 plus is a test taken by some year six pupils in primary schools in england it's a way of selecting who's academically suited to attend a grammar school or a selective school for year seven and onwards and, and is sometimes known as the transfer test as wales and scotland no longer have grammar schools the 11 plus is only taken in certain parts of england so if you live in wales or scotland you should know that there is no such thing as 11 plus types of 11 plus exam there are two types of 11 plus exam gl and cem gl covers the four 11 plus subjects english maths verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning slash patilavanas and schools can choose any combination of these to best suit their selection policy. Strong vocabulary, logic, maths and spelling skills are required. Mostly standard format answers are written in spaces to the question, next to the question, or multiple choice. The length of the test paper may vary, The 45 minutes is the most common time. Now let's look at CEM. CEM covers verbal reasoning, non-verbal reasoning, and numerical reasoning in practice of verbal reasoning. Encompass many of the skills tested in the GL English exam, including comprehension, strong English, English comprehension, vocabulary, spelling, and math skills are required. One exam combining English and verbal reasoning, and another combining math, non-verbal reasoning, standard format. Multiple choice and combination may be used depending on the school or region. So I've got this technique, CUP. It's my tool for 11 plus. So C stands for concentration, U stands for understanding, and P stands for practice. So here are some GL books you should try. And here are some CEM books you should try. And this is used for both GL and CEM. So this is my timetable before and after school. So in the morning, I practice words, their meanings, their synonyms, and their antonyms. And after school, I choose a different subject each day. Um, there's maths, English, non-verbal reasoning, and verbal reasoning to choose from. Tips for reducing stress. Start from year, year four as it will give you time for studying and revising. Second tip, take your time to understand and keep yourself organized. Third tip, don't let anything, when I mean anything, I mean anything, distract you. When you're stressed, do something to relax your mind. For example, I like sketching, but in this case, case i would get something less detailed as it would not get me depressed if it didn't turn out like i would expect it to plus i practiced with my tutor on weekends she also prescribed Creestone's 11 plus she gave me 10 cards from foxton's vocabulary cards every week to study my tutor gave me mock tests when 11 plus was closed my parents and my tutor motivated me a lot by surprising me with prizes and taking me on long walks and road trips Things to practice before the test. These three books and some mock tests and 10 minute tests by CDP. Finally, the main thing to practice is time management. I'm wishing you be the best of luck for your big test. All the credit goes to my parents and my tutor. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.